right, so uh, Nathan, this is uh, lesson information for 223.18. Next week, let's get back to your snare drum technique. You're working on, I think, the vamp exercise for, for single stroke work. And then we did started doing some buzz strokes, five through eight from the, the close roll exercises. Let's work those next time. Let's let's have you dig into uh, number uh, two out of the Cerrone book and really try to perfect that based on the, the feedback you got and the recording you have from the rep class, because that's what we're gonna use for your jury. And it'd be nice to have, you know, have a, like a ninety percent polished version of that next week. And then we can, we'll take a look at number seven if you have some time this week and you want to look at it. That's fine. I'm not gonna assign it to you. And I don't know. Then we'll, unless you're really number two is really sparkling next week and your snare techniques just just it presses the hell out of me we probably won't spend any time on seven and we won't spend any time if you don't spend any time on so but if you want to look at it if you have some questions you want to bring there may be some some questions about notation or sticking or rhythms or whatever mm -hmm. um then on keyboards you're working let's work uh, your select favorite five major scales for speed all right over one octave starting with either hand i don't care what the keys are as long as they don't include c all right um, and start clocking your speeds. Know what your slow, medium, and fast levels are going to be. What's the faster you can do it under control and hitting accurate beating spots, hitting accurate notes, and getting full sound out of the wires. We talked today, it's really easy for you to, um, as most people do, tense up as you go faster and faster. And actually what you got to do is relax if you want to stay in the bar long enough to get a full sound and really have control of your sound. And that's that's the, the challenge of playing faster with those scale patterns. Um and then just keep working the whole set of 12 because we, we talked about, I think, for your jury, passing off the requirement of being able to demonstrate your knowledge of all of the one-octave major scales. That's a prep level requirement. We should knock that off. You don't have to play them fast. You just have to be able to play them accurately and then assign pattern so that we know that you're familiar with the, the pitch set. All right? And then you've got, uh, I think, one old and a couple of new um, repertoire pieces we dated today's data on the keyboard and a couple that we, we put question marks on for your jury ultimately we'll do one of those for your jury I'll let you decide and to the extent you have time to do it this week it'd be good to look for at least at one of them or maybe part of two of the, both of them so you can make an informed choice because probably next week we need to start looking at the jury piece along with the rest of the reading you're doing and the rest of the repertoire work that you're doing so that we can get it ready for the jury